Right, um, Steve Donahoe here. I've um, been building floors and I've had a few people ask about how I do it, so I thought I'd put together this um, little slideshow. So, here we go. So, I use Langstroth hives. The point of the floor is it's got an underfloor entrance. It's got partial mesh at the back for, for ventilation, nothing to do with Varroa. It's mostly a solid floor. Um, and the, the underfloor design was inspired by um, something that Emir Jenkins put up on the beekeeping forum. Um, so all credit to him. And um, the good thing is you don't need to use mouse guards with this floor type and also gives the bees a good chance against wasps. Um, by the way, don't for one minute think I know anything about woodworking, um, but uh, I just bumble along and this is, this, is, this is what I've done. So there's two types of timber. The, the mo majority of the timber is this one, which is um, um, the 75 millimeter wide by 22 millimeter deep. And then this other one is for just doing the, the rim at the end. That's the mesh I used. Um, it's not the cheapest, but it's very good. Um, wood glue, I use um, a nail gun with staples in it quick um, could use screws which screws might actually be more um, long-lasting I don't know a saw and a cutter for the mesh so the larger of the timbers um, gets cut as follows so you've got two long pieces which is the length of the Langstroth hive 20 inches and you've got five cross pieces, which is the width of the Langstroth hive. That's, um, that's this. And then these four um, smaller pieces. And I put it together like this. So the long pieces are here, standing up, you know, on the edge. And then I've got the five cross pieces as, as shown and that piece there that's just the exact width of another one of these cross pieces um, so I cut and this is a this is a um, that's where the, the wire mesh is going to be for ventilation so you can cut pieces um, to, to your preference as to how wide you want this gap to be that's what I've done, it's about um, just under four inches. So that's a, that's the sort of size that I have. Um, and then at the other end, this is, this is gonna be the entrance um, slit. But you need to cut some small pieces. In this case, it was about 62 mils um, to, to fit in this space here. And then that's what you end up with. So that's, that's the whole floor. This piece here is going to be, well, this piece here is going to be the entrance area, although we don't want it that wide. And this piece here is going to be the mesh area. And you can see it's pretty sturdy. This thing is a bit like building a pallet, really. Um, so one of the um, smaller timbers goes in here to form the entrance slit. So uh, I've, as you can see here, I line it up and leave a small gap, about nine millimeters, which is about right for a B. And then this gets glued and stapled into place. Then another piece, the same size as this, goes here to close off the remaining gap. And then this can be stapled to the floor this can be stapled to this cross piece just to strengthen it all up. And then if you look at it from the other side, looking down, you've got the entrance slit there, and you 
we've got a kind of ledge here which bees can um, line up to defend if they ever need to defend from uh, wasps or robbers. Um, there's another piece the same size as this but going the other way just to create the landing board at the entrance and then finally another piece going across the back so that just closes up the back and as you can see I'm not the world's greatest woodworker but um, I don't think the bees care too much and then this is looking at the underneath because these little pieces here are only attached at one side um, there's a weakness here so just to brace them up I've just cut some pieces of wood and banged them in just to just to strengthen then um, I cut the other timber the, the smaller one um, and fit it around the rim so that's because Langstroth is top B space and without the rim the the frames would be right on the floor and then I cut my mesh to size and staple it in place so that's the finished hive from above and below and there's a few I've done and I sometimes use um, wood preserver to um, help you know wh where I've cut the wood I use some wood preserver and that's the end <laughs>